multimodal intervention improves fatigue and quality of life in subjects with progressive multiple sclerosis. I'm Dr. Cherry Walls, clinical professor of medicine at the University of Iowa and staff physician at the Iowa City Veteran Affairs Hospital. Multiple sclerosis or MS related fatigue is very difficult to control and it is the number one cause for people with MS to exit the workforce. We utilized a multimodal intervention to treat fatigue in people with progressive MS. The multimodal intervention consisted of a modified paleolithic diet which stresses three cups of green vegetables, three cups of sulfur rich vegetables, and three cups of deeply pigmented vegetables and berries each day. A targeted program of vitamins and supplements, an exercise program coupled with electrical stimulation of the muscles of the trunk and legs, and a daily stress reducing activity. We enrolled 20 individuals, 18 with secondary progressive MS, two with primary progressive MS. The mean age was 51.7 years. The mean expanded disability status scale was 6.2, placing the individuals between Kane and Walker. The mean fatigue severity scale score was 5.5. That scale goes from 7 to 1, with 1 equaling no fatigue. We're able to demonstrate that the individuals were able to adopt and sustain this complex diet and lifestyle intervention. The side effects were mild and included a change in the bowel habits and the development of minor skin burns, which were easily treated and then corrected with proper training on technique. Furthermore, individuals who were obese or overweight lost weight and got back to a healthy body weight. However, no one became underweight during the study period. This next slide shows all of the fatigue severity scale scores that were obtained at baseline and months 3, 6, 9, and 12. You will see that between months 0 and 3, the fatigue severity score dropped by 1.56 points, and between months 0 and 12, dropped by 2.33 points for a p-value of 0 0.0005. Furthermore, Subjects reported an improved quality of life as measured by the short form 36 subscales on energy and general health status. In conclusion, we're able to demonstrate that individuals with moderate levels of disability and progressive MS were able to adopt and sustain complex dietary and lifestyle interventions, and that these interventions were associated with a statistically significant reduction in fatigue severity and improvement in quality of life. Future studies need to be conducted using a randomized controlled study design to test the efficacy and the underlying mechanisms of this intervention.